All right, so today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about quadrilaterals on the coordinate plane. So it's determining if we are talking about a parallelogram, a kite, a square, a rhombus, a trapezoid, but on the coordinate plane, which means we're talking about things that are gonna be on a graph. Okay, so in today, a few things are gonna be important. One is distance. Um, so remember, when we think distance, we need to be thinking Pythagorean theorem. Uh, theorem, and you're going to have two points. Sometimes you can count it, but I'm just going to give you a quick example. Let's say we've got two points, two, five, and um, let's do five and negative eight. Um, to do distance here, we look at how far apart are the x values. So in this case, that's three. And remember, we're doing Pythagorean theorem, so we're going to do three squared. And now we're going to look at the y values. 5 and negative 8, if you count on a number line, those are going to be 13 apart. So this is going to be 3 squared plus 13 squared. Um, and that's going to equal c squared. And then you would work Pythagorean, uh, Pythagorean theorem out, and you would solve that. And you can, um, I mean, you can write this down, I guess, if you want to, but um, or work this out for yourself. You should get here that the distance between those two points would be 13.3 um, units. Um, would be the approximate distance. So that's going to be a relevant skill today. The other skill that we need to talk about is parallel and perpendicular. So parallel and perpendicular, I know that you, are, you remember what those lines look like, right? Parallel look like this. Um, perpendicular are going to cross. A few specific things. So one, perpendicular lines cross at a 90 degree angle. So um, that is important to know that they make 90 degrees. Parallel lines obviously don't cross at all, but on a coordinate plane, they don't always show me these two things like with the correct symbols. So what I want you to remember and write down is that parallel lines have the same slope. And remember we count slope rise over run. So if they're parallel, they're gonna have the same rise over run. So if you go you know, up one over three, um, if there was another line in a different place that went up one over three, it would be parallel to the original line, okay? Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite, um, and which means opposite sign. So basically you've got like positive versus negative, um, and they are reciprocals. So... If you have one line that goes up one over three, um, this line has a slope of one third. The perpendicular line to that would have a slope of negative, right? Because opposite of positive is negative. And then reciprocal, that is to flip. So this is three over one. So instead, you would have some line that started and would go um, down three over one. And those two lines, if um, they were drawn really well, would end up being perpendicular because they have opposite reciprocal slopes. Okay? I would have that down, and I'm about to do two examples. All right, in your notes, if you don't have graph paper, you need to draw this out. I'm sorry, there's going to be two. It's the best I can do. Um, all right, so the first thing that you need to do when you see a picture like this, honestly, um, is kind of guess kind of guess at what shape you think that is. So when I look at this, you might think that looks like a kite, but it kind of looks to me like all the sides are the same. So if all the sides are the th same, I think that this is going to be a rhombus. And I just want to double check that it actually is one. So what I'm going to do is check, um, the easiest thing to do is just to check that all the sides are the same. Okay, so I'm going to count, if I was doing Pythagorean theorem from A to B, that would be up four, over two, right? So if I did that, it would be from A to B would be um, four squared plus two squared equals C squared. And now let me teach you a trick. You don't actually have to do Pythagorean theorem to check that they're the same. I mean, you can, but you don't always have to. So for instance, if I look at B, B is also two and four. So when I set that up, because it's the same numbers, it's going to be the same length, even without me solving it. So I'm checking this all the way around. C to D is 2 and 4, 
A to D is two and four. So this is definitely a rhombus because they all have the same side length. The only other thing that I might want to check is if maybe it's a square. Remember, a square is a special type of rhombus. So I'm just going to count and see what the slopes are on these. So if I count slope, I'm going to do um, rise over run. So from A to B, that's rise four, run two. Um, I know D and C is going to be the same, rise four, run two. So now I just need to check if these are perpendicular. So I'm going to check from B to C. And from B to C is down 4 over 2. Well, these are opposite of each other, right? One is positive. This is positive. This is negative. So that's good. But they're not reciprocals. 4 over 2 is not a reciprocal of 4 over 2. That's the same thing. So these are not perpendicular, um, which means, sorry, I just... I'm getting, being lazy, not perpendicular, which means it is not a square. So this is, in fact, a rhombus. All right, let's do another one of those. Again, please draw this out in your notes to the best of your ability. I know it won't be perfect, but it'll be there. Um, okay, so when I look at this shape, um, my first guess, I know this is not a parallelogram because it, it doesn't look it doesn't line up right. I know it's not a rectangle or anything else. My first guess is that this is probably a kite. Um, and I'm going to check just to make sure that you might say, well, maybe that's a trapezoid. Um, but trapezoids have parallel sides. So first, if I just check the slopes, um, R to S is down one. And what is that? Over uh, seven. So this has a slope of negative one over seven. Well, if I check the opposite side, that's down um, two or three. This is not drawn very well on this graph. And um, over nine. And so that is definitely negative one um, over seven and does not equal negative three over nine. Those are different slopes, which means these are not parallel. So it's not going to be a trapezoid. So now what I want to check, um, so you might want to pause and get that written down because I'm about to erase some things. Um, if it's a kite, I'm going to have two sets of sides that are the same length. So I just need to do my Pythagorean theorem and see that two sides match. So my guess is RS and RV match. So if I look at, at this R to V, um, that's going to be 1 squared. I know that because 5, negative 5 and negative 4 are 1 apart. And then 7 and 0 are 7 apart. So 1 squared plus sorry, plus 7 squared. All right, now I'm going to check R to S. So R to S, if I look at those points, 5, now I'm comparing 5, uh, negative 5 to 2. Well, those are 7 apart, so that's 7 squared. And 7 and 6, those are 1 apart. Okay, so what that tells me is that these two sides do match. So I think that is a kite. I do need to check these last two sides, so I'm going to do that as well. So if I do V to T, I'm looking at negative 4 to 5. That's going to be 9 apart, so 9 squared. And 0 to th negative 3 is going to be 3 apart, so 3 squared. Okay, so now let me check um, this last side over here, which is S and T. So S, T, 2 and 5 are 7 apart, so that's 7 squared. And 6 and 3 are 9 apart. Oh, not 7 apart, y'all. 2 and 5 are 3 apart. 2 and 5 are 3 apart. 6 and negative 3 are 9 apart. So these are also um, equal to each other, which means this, in fact, is a kite. Um, all right, so that's what you need to know for your lesson today. Make sure you've got some good notes down. And um, you can let me know if we have questions in class.